when you are get uh, registered in the uh, UGC website you have to select a laptop computer or desktop computer uh, because we can't do it from a mobile phone then you have to open web browser and type this link on the search bar www.ugc.ac.lk and search it now you can see the website uh, university grant commission but you can see here academic year the 20, uh, 2020 2021 because this is the old video but when you are registered in this uh, you can see university registration 2021 2022 then you have to go to the third option to download the selection letter and click on it you can see an interface like this we have to log in to our UGC account click here to login and you can see here you have to put uh, the username and password here your username is uh, your email address that you have gave to uh, to make the uh, UGC account and your uh, password is uh, uh, your password uh, that you have gave to make the UGC account we have put them both of them here and then we have to uh, log into the account and you can see uh, see here your NIC number your mobile number and you are, you can change the language here mm. uh, you can change the language to Sinhala English Tamil uh, it will be valuable for you then you have to uh, first you have to put the NIC number your identity card number uh, the half of it uh, have been uh, filled and also your mobile number also half half of the mobile number have been filled and you have to uh, put uh, uh, other numbers and your email uh, have been automatically uh, then you have to press the button to go to the next step then uh, you can receive a OTP code uh, to your uh, mobile number actually this is a, a link to generate OTP code uh, you can see here this is come to your mobile number and you have to go to this link when you go to this link your OTP sent successfully please check your uh, mobile to retrieve the OTP uh, you can see uh, this interface then you can receive the OTP code to your mobile number this is the OTP code there, there are six numbers we have to get this OTP and put here then press this button now you can see uh, your selection letter here this is your selection letter now you can download it like this here is your uh, selection letter the first letter is uh, yellow color and uh, other also uh, very important we can go down when we uh, go down the letter uh, we can see an important notice here um, in the box in this box uh, we have to read it I'm going to read it uh, if you are not getting registered 
to selected course of study for university uh, you will uh, not then be considered for any other uh, uh, university to follow the same course of study under filling of vacancies uh, even if you have uh, given higher preference uh, for the same course of study in pre- uh, different universities in the application form for university admission instead your application will be considered for next course of study preferred however if you wish your application to be considered for higher preferred university than the uh, uh, currently selected uh, university to follow the same course of study under the filling of vacancies first you should get considered at the uh, UGC for the course of study of the university already selected otherwise your application will no longer be considered for any of the higher preferred university to follow the same course of study in the bracket we can see uh, as a uh, as per the section uh, 3.2 of the university admission handbook valid for the academic year uh, 2020 2021 uh, this is a important notice uh, so i think uh, you have get the idea of it after completing the da- the downloading uh, option in a uh, selection letter uh, you ha- you can uh, come to the web browser again and uh, you have to go to the website type this link again and uh, we have already done the uh, downloading selection letter method. And uh, we have to go to the second option now to directly proce- proceed to registration. Uh, this is the option to uh, registration in the UGC website. Uh, now we can see a important notice. Uh, I already uh, uh, told you about this uh, in the important notice in the selection letter. Uh, so I am not going to uh, read it for you uh, but you can read and understand what they are telling again and again and this is about vacancy uh, because uh, when you uh, get uh, selected uh, for a university you have to uh, uh, register the university because uh, if you are not registered in this uh, that university you will be lose that university and uh, others uni- universities also so that's the that's a very important notice for you uh, now we are going to the next step now we go down then we can see student declaration uh, this is the agreement for uh, the information that you given above are correct put the tick button I agree uh, then you can see registration fee but you can't uh, see it here in your process you can see the registration fee then uh, there's a very important note please note that you are requested uh, requested to uh, send a print online payment receipt uh, along with uh, evidence of required payment uh, in the bracket copy of the pay in, in voucher uh, if paid to bank uh, by registered post to reach UGC for official purpose after completing the registration uh, this uh, uh, telling uh, uh, telling to us uh, we have to send the uh, PDF uh, that we get from the uh, uh, all the after the all the process uh, of this and uh, if we pay to the bank we have to get the copy of a bank slip and we have to uh, send uh, them to uh, to the UGC uh, through the register post. This is a uh, option to pay to bank. If we pay to bank, we get uh, we can get a slip, bank slip. Uh, if we uh, if we paying by the credit card, uh, we can uh, get a slip, and we don't want a slip uh, uh, because. Uh, uh, we are paying online so we can't get sleep so we don't want sleep
now you can see we have to put the card number here and we have to select the expire date here expire year month uh, here uh, then card holder name and security code is uh, the CVV number behind the card three number after the uh, filling this uh, uh, you will get a uh, uh, OTP code to your mobile number that you gave uh, you connect with the your credit card uh, you can put the OTP here and submit now payment have been successful now you can see registration also successful we can download the PDF and after download the PDF we have to uh, get a print and uh, if we pay to bank uh, we have to get the copy of bank slip and we have to uh, uh, send them to the UGC before deadline 